guys, Cora Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Jake. I'm Calvin. Aaron, we're back with Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Each time I have to look down and not try to tell, tell myself, it's not Godzilla Legacy of Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> it's Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Um, real quick, before we get started, Jake, are you going to be able to watch this and not think about the movie you just watched last night? No. What, what did you watch last night? I went and saw Minus One, which was... Here, it's not getting good reviews. Nope. No, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. 98% of my demands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the time you watch this, uh-huh. it will not be in theaters anymore. Yeah. Rent it on digital. Yep. Buy the steel book. But it is incredible. Probably the best movie in 70 years of Godzilla movies. Awesome. So, like, you're saying, like, the best Godzilla movie? Yes. Better than 98? That's... Ah. And make sure you subscribe oh. because, you know, you never know. We might do a reaction to it right here on the channel. Last time on Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Jake was excited then. Yes. I was. <laughs> we saw the Bikini Atoll bottom test. Yep. Incident. What uh, do they call it? I think it's test. just a test. Test. They okay. blew him up. Yes, yes boom. they did. And everybody watching saw the suspense and wondered what happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, we all know. It didn't nothing happen. He was fine. He animated it. Mm. Um... Yeah, I think he just swam away and then got mad for. He a liked bit. it. Yeah, maybe he liked it. <laughs> I, I, learned. I, I imagine it's the. Uh, I thought about it later. The shockwave from the bomb probably. I mean, it might not have really damaged him, but probably pushed him away a good bit. Oh that's yeah, that's that's a lot of sure, concussive yeah. force. Yeah, yeah, but then there should be a giant tidal wave, or all the water evaporated, or something. I don't know. <laughs> I you know what? No clue what would happen when that Between happens. Godzilla and a bomb both going off right there. I don't know what happened to the water. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, no, actually, much, much later in Alaska, a plane has landed in search of another plane that looks like it didn't, but it actually did. But it was torn apart by a giant mole bull face. mole face. Ah, I hate it so much, and I wanted to die. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We also learned lies and secrets are different. Yes. Lies and secrets I'm are different. I'm going to take that to my grave now. Live by it. God damn it. I regret showing this show to Aaron. It's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, there's not much difference, I suppose. Just like generally, a secret is like you're trying to protect something or someone, whereas a lie has still talking, like an element of fraud. Sure. Oh, did you hit the button with that? No, he was <laughs> he very missed. far off. He missed. Daddy Hiroshi's trying to lie. Look. Hey, I missed too. He missed too. I thought there was some weird, uh, In the weird dramatic thing. Uh, anomalies. The last monster we saw literally sucked heat out of the air. Some one of them could be Hi, wireless uh, power. Barnes. Barnes. I've been getting really weird reading out here, and Barnes. Who? Uh, post forty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I need to speak to Assistant Director Verdugo. Yeah. Oh. Who? Verdugo. Verdugo. Assistant Director Verdugo. Forty-seven isn't Scylla. I don't think. Don't move. Then you're dead. What's Kentaro looking at? Oh, oh something blew up. Get flared. Oh, he, oh, it's he attractive. wants yeah. heat. Didn't go very far. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been so cool. Oh, in the ice, in the snow, you ain't running fast. So like it feeds on heat, like that's why it was after the airplane, because like it had landed and it was fresh. And it's hot. Yeah. I mean, it'll require more experimentation, but that's the hypothesis. <laughs> Eats heat. Feels like it lives in the wrong place. Get off the ice! Freeze. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's gonna be real bad. Can't scream. He looks so good in those glasses. Yeah. That's gotta be so painful. She could lose her foot easily. It's frostbite. Just bite your glove. Start fire. No. Parallels of interiors. Sounds pretentious. Incredibly. 
Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is she bad? Pretend to be. It's interesting. Right. Do you like whiskey? I like expensive whiskey. You're in luck. Japan has some very expensive whiskey. You just beat your ass up. Right, May. Conserve your energy. Wet legs, you're going to be fighting hypothermia. You got to get you dry. Yeah, you should take that off and dry up. Yeah. I don't know if they have a place to do it. You can do it with snow. I'd love to know okay, where a bar so is that I need a password to. Yeah. So you don't get this until you say the right word. Fuck. You love it. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where? What's that big glowy light? Could be Godzilla getting ready to shoot a beam in the air. You think you saw something? Yeah, I know what I saw. Then go. And don't stop until you find it. And then get help. We'll do the same. Good luck. We're all gonna need it. Split the party? Crazy. I mean... No. No, we can't just let him leave. He's made his choice, kid. Let's go. They've got no real direction to go, right? Well, they're going to the light. Yeah, but that could be the Titan for all you know, you know? Like, that could be radioactive glowing shit. <laughs> yeah. My first thought was Godzilla's gonna shoot a beam up in the air. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know what that is. Put it between your thighs. Eric, that can't be your solution for everything. You've got to stop. <laughs> I wish I had a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? That sucks. We're walking in circles. Uh, titans have odd effects on their surroundings. How we experience them. The cloud we flew through. This place is stranger than you think. It's stranger than anybody knows. Huh. Um, I know that. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, that helps her explain why they're not seen very often. Hmm. Hiding from family, maybe? Tacoma? It sounded like a phone call from, like, mom or sister. Yeah. But she said not to call her. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's like your family and you're hiding from like government or something like that, you don't want your family to know where you are. Sure. Right? Because then is, they can be used. This is cool. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh. So beautiful. Other delusions. Stay with me, Maeve. Maeve. You're in touch with my sister. That's who it was. Yes. No, it's not clear. Only person that I can call. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you. I'm sure Kentaro knows how he doesn't. I know his shit. We're not talking about me. Hmm. Oh, it's back! Get your gear on! We gotta move! Come on! Get back to where we hit before! Go, 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 go! He's gonna go to the fire first, probably. This ice mold thing. That's so cool. This morning. Maybe he's full. We dangle the biggest, brightest, hottest object we can in front of it. Magnesium? I've been so thankful for a full bladder. Aviation fuel. Flint. Gonna light this thing brighter than Times Square on VJ Day. What's that? We build a bonfire. We feed it. He's been sharpening pencils for a long time. Okay, now, yeah, how's he having a pencil left? He takes it to the nubs. Yeah, so a little nubs. Oh, oh, man. Cool shot. Once you're hit, give me your hit. Light it. 
still carrying the damn bag. Light it, light it. Freeze. What the hell? There's a helicopter? I guess you're going for help. That's a good sound. That's a good out. Locked it. <laughs> He's 90. Mm, fire. <laughs> we should go in hot ones. Was it just blocking her heat, or is there was there heat in there? I think it was just like a like just a kind of short shield. barrier, yeah. Buying your time because it was only like half a second. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, 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 lift off, lift off. <laughs> Who is it that got a helicopter out here that fast? Oh, man. You think Kentaro's gonna be like, told you so? It was right there. Mm hmm. What is it, though? I don't know. Some crater. Some fissure. Like hollow Earth or something? Yeah. You just can't access it right now, but the data should still Maybe be fine. Maybe it's all we can use the hard drive for now. Yeah. Tim. Uh -oh. Tim. Bum. Bum. Damn it, Matt! Do you think the laptop is just trash now? Yeah, it looks trash. Yeah, uh, it might have gotten cold enough that. To... I mean, I would say like a monster it, froze it. I would say like yeah, I was gonna say like I'd say like <laughs> if you were like if my computer got really cold and yeah. I like brought it in like made sure it didn't get like wet when it thawed. But, sure, like, yeah. you know like I mean? condensation and but, stuff on it. But I don't know like Titan power is going <laughs> what it does to it. You know, I mean, I had a Game Boy Survival Winter. Like, sure, yeah, exactly. Is it sucking the energy out of the fire? Could it also suck the energy out of, like, a lithium-ion battery? I get what you mean. Like, is it just straight-up like, heat? Is it energy? Is it yeah, more than that? Yeah. I, and I don't know. Like, we, if rows do hold solid in a couple of seconds, uh, like, I don't know how much damage that's going to do to electronics. Is Especially if it's running. Old. I doubt it was running. But, I mean... Even if it was hibernating. Yeah. I imagine the utility of it in the story, they might be like, we analyzed it, we got these two lines, you know? Yeah. Like, so you will have you a get clue, a piece. but you don't have everything like you thought you did. Yeah. I liked a lot of the visual transitions, transitions mm -hmm. in this episode. They've been pretty consistent with it. I mean, last episode had that awesome aging, you know, between the character yeah. transition. De-aging. De-aging between the character. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think visually the show does a really good job in a lot of its mm -hmm. like artistic choices and what it does. I think the yeah. creatures look really good too. Yeah, the creatures look really good. Like they're they they feel like the quality of the movies as opposed to like oh this is a this TV, is a TV show. I would agree. You know? yeah. Like Godzilla when he showed up what last episode or whatever it was like I was like he looks really good here. He doesn't yeah. just look like well we got to cut the budget a bit so yeah. Even if it's like well we can't show him a lot or whatever. Yeah, there was what only they show of him looks good. There was only maybe two shots in the whole thing where it went from like obvious location photography to there on a set. Yeah, that jarred me at all. And for a TV show, I mean, it's pretty that's good. It's pretty good with, with <laughs> how good the locations they've been using are. Because yeah. like there was one part where it was close in on them when they had like a rock background. I was like, oh, that's yeah, that's a set right after. And the only reason it was like noticeable was it was right after the really nice mm -hmm. far out shot to show that yeah. they were on location. Sure. So I, that that just like, yeah, it was a little jarring just because they are so close to each other. Sure. I always think about what Sean Austin talks about when the Lord of the Rings behind the scenes, where he's like, filming is counterintuitive. When you're meant to be really cold, you're almost always really hot, and when you're yeah. meant to be really hot, you're almost always really cold. So it was watching her shiver like that with the fake snow going on around, I just kept thinking like she's probably so hot yeah. right now, yeah. <laughs> sweating her butt off. Yeah, I was studio watching, with lights on. I was watching the thing we talked. 
Tremors during this one part, mm-hmm. but there's a point in Tremors where like it was just really cold out in the desert. Yeah. And the the one the seismologist that they meet like yeah. has like the the yeah. sunblock on her yeah. nose and stuff like that. And she's like talking to him in the truck and stuff like that. And it's like she did a good job of looking warm when she was freezing. Freezing. Yeah. yeah. I I um speaking of the cold, I think like uh May and Kentaro, like the makeup department did a really good job making their like it looked like their body was reacting May to the cold. Yeah. It may especially. I I don't think Kate, like they did not put the same effort to Kate and Shaw. Like they just looked like they were fine. But like Kentaro had like the red blotches. Yeah, sure. Or like your you could see your blood vessels in your cheek a lot more. Well, both of them too like weren't moving at all. Yeah. So yeah. I think like, you you want to make sure you really show that like hey look they're having trouble That's and struggling and hallucinating yeah. and all this. Well, yeah. Whereas they, like sure the other two are still moving around. They're Kentaro was making way a fire. More, they're around the fire. He was way more exposed. He was way more exposed, and then she was in a worse situation with her getting her legs yeah. wet. Uh, did. Did any of them have like hoods? Uh, I don't think so. it, if they did, they didn't show it. Okay, I was just looking up to see if because she was at Outpost Forty Seven in Utah. Yeah, I was thinking there's there was another one that's close to that. There's um, a giant spider crab like one in King of the Monsters, but it's Outpost Fifty Five in Phoenix mm. or in Arizona. Yeah. So it's close. Yeah, it looks it looks very similar in terms of like where it comes out of. But I was wondering if they're the same spot. So it's different Titan at Outpost 47 in Utah, so avoid Utah. We've seen several of the Mutos and stuff, and especially like the Muto Mutos. Yeah, we've seen um, four four of them. I was just trying to think of like which ones we've seen where like, well, there was... Like he was like, they're like snowflakes. No two Titans are the same. And I'm like, have we ever seen Titans that have been like the same? There Even was the Skull mating, Island. The mating like pair. Yeah. 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 Well, I was trying to think of that. And like, I, Well, I mean, I guess like... Even though they were both like the Muto, mm-hmm. they were like still different in kind of the ways that they I th- worked and stuff too. I don't think that line is meant to be like they're not they're all like unique singular species. It's just like their experience with what we see like what we actually see and or, like can find have always been Or like just because i I'm familiar with Godzilla and Mothra, yeah. just because I meet another one doesn't mean any of the solutions of like how to get away or fight them work sure. the same. Yeah. yeah. Every one is a uh oh shoot, I just had it. The duck bill otter thing. Platypus? platypus. Yeah. Every one is a platypus. Yeah. They're all, they're all like super Side. unique yeah. among their animal classification. Yeah. You know, they're, like, they're all like tightness in their like naming genus. But it's like, like when we were talking about like so different after that. Was it bears last time? Where it's like, well, if it's a grizzly bear, you do this. If yeah. it's a polar bear, you do this. If, if it's a polar this. bear, you just die. If it's a polar bear, you're fucked. Yeah. You're if it's fucked. a black bear, you get big. If it's a if it's a brown or a grizzly bear, you you play dead. Yeah, cover your and neck, get in a field position. We talked about yeah. Really we good, talk about if really you have, you're, you're lucky <laughs> if you have a really good okay. backpack. But what if it's a cane bear? You fucked. Then party, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get high um, too. It's your best option. You got any white powder on you? <laughs> Just throw more of that right now. So, have you guys seen that yet? Yeah. I haven't, no. No. So Shaw says that around Titans, uh, odd effects can happen. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they mean like to the surroundings. Yeah, like uh, I, mean, I would imagine something that big can have like an environmental effect, but they went into circles and went back to the tent. Like, well, is that just a matter of... I think the elements of, like, the hallucination could also yeah. be related to the Titan, that's not just assuming. being cold. Yeah, yeah that's well. why I was getting that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like, them walking in a big circle yeah. maybe could be related. Like, have we seen anything like that before in this MonsterVerse? Uh, not... So, at the end of King of the Monsters, mm-hmm. at the, like, the end title, they go through, like, articles of, like, what's published. Yeah. Um... And, like, all of the Titans have an environmental effect of, like, what they do. Mm-hmm. And at the beginning of the movie, it talks about how wherever the Mutos went, like, growth happened, ex- exponential growth happened. Like, it shows Vegas and there's just a giant forest now, there. Now, do you mean any Mutos? Or do you mean, the, like, the, the flying the, the, the specific, like, the Mutos in 2014 Godzilla, gotcha. where they went there. Mm-hmm. Um, in the, but, like, in the after, or in the credits of King of the Monsters... It talks about like some of the effects different ones have. Like the spider one that I said comes out of Arizona, it goes up north because it emits so much CO two that it starts to refreeze the polar ice caps, 
and another one walks through the rainforest and regrows the rainforest because of the radiation they emit. So they all have like an area of effect of where they've been that does something to their environment to kind of like well, small scale terraform it to where they're like their surroundings. Because they also mentioned the storm too that was here. Yeah. Where it's like we threw that flew through that storm and like we're now we're in like this territory and stuff. Yeah. So maybe like like it could have effects similar to like uh, magnetism for birds, right? When they migrate, they mm-hmm. use like the poles and stuff like that. And if that gets all wonky, then they get lost and they don't go the way they're supposed to. Yeah. Like that could be a similar thing. Yeah. With, like we walked in a circle. I thought we were going straight. You know, it's like well, sure. You know, even <laughs> even weird. the Mutos from the 2014 Godzilla had that EMP pulse that kind of just domed around them like constantly that you know that was their kind of like environmental effect which is actually uh once you read the books is a mechanism for them to hunt godzilla species Hmm. it's meant to weaken their atomic well they it's it's meant to weaken their atomic breath it didn't work i mean it's weaker than it was in other movies i guess you rewatch it's very different and much weaker in godzilla versus they hunt him very well well he's you know, he's got he he's is older. King, yeah. We had a um, an energy hole up there in the Arctic. There, uh, pulsar energy. Yeah, it's putting out. Is there anything radiation? like we've? I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before either. That seems no. But no. they did say that there was like a gamma radiation, uh, very similar before G Day. Yeah, which I don't know. I don't remember that either. Yeah, I don't think that was in the movie unless they're referring <laughs> to like Godzilla's atomic breath. Yeah. Uh, or we learn more about... Well, what was the situation where, like, all the radiation showed up when, like, that plant, like, blew up or whatever? Like, whenever the wife was in there and he couldn't get her out and stuff, I, and then he had to get out and that whole place, like... It went, might just have been the awakening of those those two MUTO, or that one MUTO and the radiation spike from it waking up, because it's a bigger MUTO was the big enough spike. Because this one's much smaller in comparison, obviously, to those... I guess that's what they're going with. I'm not I mean, 100% it, sure. It has a feeling of like it being like a beacon or a signal. Yeah. You know, it's seen from far away, but, I mean, I don't know what would have seen it or felt it, I suppose, right? Like, Muto's... It didn't seem like this Muto was like, oh, this giant thing of energy. I'm going to go check it out. It's like, yeah. oh, campfire. <laughs> you yeah. Know? It, it, like, the coloring of it kind of reminds me of some of the effects they used when they went to the Hollow Earth in Godzilla vs. Kong. Sure. But, I mean, that's just a guess. I mean, it's probably the closest guess at this point, but yeah. it's hard to tell. I think K crawls out of it. Charles Dance is still alive, right? His, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. His movie hasn't happened yet. Yeah, and he was, because he had like a Ghidorah head or something, right? Yeah. 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 And he sold it to Apex. That's right. Corporation, whatever the Apex's name was. Mm-hmm. That who was that's who was inside... Godzilla, Mecha, right? Mecha Godzilla. Wasn't he wasn't inside of it. He was, was behind it, it, though. Was it something? Wasn't there something where, like, was it that movie? Where, like, either there was a thing. Was it a thing, and then it turned into a Mecha Godzilla, or was it Mecha Godzilla, and it turned into a thing? No, there was Mecha Godzilla, but they were using the head of Ghidorah that Charles Dance sold as like, that what it was? Okay. the interface for the yeah. guy to pilot Mecha Godzilla. At one point, I was trying to remember what it was. I'm like, wasn't there like, like the real internal parts was this or something like that? But I can't remember what it was. Mm-hmm. Andrew, watch it. We had the littlest bit of information from May, yep. which includes that she came from Tacoma, and it yep. sucks, mm-hmm. and that she has a sister, yep. and that, that's about she it. She will only say that her job Thailand. is computer shit. She also doesn't want her picture taken, and she's in a uh, nation, a, a different country. So uh, to me, it implies like she, maybe she's some type of like hacker or criminal that got in trouble or maybe something more nefarious but I mean it easily if she's a hacker and stuff could be like she was in trouble so yeah. she's hiding from the government yeah that's what sure. it was and if she had that conversation with her sister where it's like yeah I'm, uh, I'm traveling for work mm-hmm. look I just don't don't talk to me yeah. I'll t- talk to you like it felt like she's the less you know the better but I can't tell you all yeah, this kind of yeah. stuff yeah. and if the government yeah. finds out what like all she knows where it is then they're gonna like maybe go and get you and use you or something like that yeah. Or the phones could be tapped or whatever. Yeah, you know? and she also, like, she gets very upset when people put her in a situation she doesn't want to be in. Like, she has a lot of, she needs to have a lot of control, I feel like, because she's hiding from something. And yeah. That she, lack of control puts her in the open. Yeah, it, it's, it's a, it's a weakness. Yeah. Feels like to her. Even when Shaw wanted to carry the bag, 
mm-hmm. you know, which seemingly feels very innocent. And she's like, you want something out of here. Like, he, he, you know he wants the information on a laptop, but, like, he's not going to run away with it. We're in the yeah. Antarctic. He's trying to help. So, yeah, she's got some definite paranoia and... Well, and it could be, issues. like, while she does have the digitized version of the information they want from Randa, there could be other information that she has that she's hiding and still it's just a yeah. separate mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah, on the laptop that she's yeah. put on there. Yeah. Because it's her, her Go laptop. Or there's a secret little thingy and then you cut and, you, and then there's the... Whatever else she's hiding. I you know? I halfway mm-hmm. expected when he pulled the... the USB. Opened the bag that there was going to be something else in there that was like... <gasps> But I don't know what it could have been. What's this? But I, yeah, I, was, I, I, was, I was expecting some kind of like, oh. A smoking gun. Yeah. Because like, I, I keep thinking of like, well, maybe she's like a plant to watch Kentaro trying to get close to the dad. But if that's the oh. case, she's not She's never not done a very good job of that. And she seems to not care and not want to well, be there. Unless she... like a peace lily. No. Unless she's like, she started to and then she's like, well, you know what? I can't do this. I don't want to do it. But... I don't feel like that really fits in either. It feels more like she's hiding. Yeah. Rather than like... And like now she's kind of involved and she doesn't want to be involved in this because she just wanted to hide out. I mean, she... But she also called her sister, I'm assuming, then and said, I might be coming home sooner. Or coming home, you know, coming back or whatever. Maybe... So maybe it's like her mission's done. Maybe it's like... I don't know. why, Why would she do that? I don't know. Maybe she's not like an official plant, but maybe she works for the dad, worked with the dad. Maybe she was part of Monarch. No, well, no, they would have recognized her and talked about her, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and unless they didn't know that she was her, maybe. If she was working with Monarch, you figure her getting the information, they would talk to her instead of going to her place and trying to find it, right? Yeah. If she was like working with them. Sure. Did we ever see her interact with anyone from Monarch? She, no. She came back um, to her apartment and they were raiding, like ransacking, ransacking it. And we, she yeah. was. We saw May and Kentaro both talking with. Tim and stuff and then they both escaped at different points she hit him with a phone the mom helped him run out but she was just hiding in the, in the corner mm-hmm. unless that's yeah. part of the plant well I'm thinking <laughs> you know? I'm thinking maybe maybe she was part of Monarch and is on the run from something she did there and the dad helped her because he was in Monarch and as a repayment she is watching Kentaro mm-hmm. and trying to help and that's why she's continuing to go on this journey. It's kind of it's a harebrained theory that yeah. it's most likely not going to be. But well, because the idea of watching it's a Kitaro, different idea. I just don't feel like she's really accomplishing any of that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't. You know? I don't think so either. I'm just kind of like spitballing crazy yeah. ideas at this point. That's why I thought he was talking about a plant. But I feel like it has to be involved somehow. You know, so, yeah, not a plant. Plant, Calvin, <laughs> shut up. Like we have mutos. Yeah, it grows over Las Vegas. The plants. Maybe yeah. maybe like a plant. Oh, There's a plant you Godzilla going. Yeah. A Not plant Godzilla, is that you said? There's a plant Godzilla monster. villain, monster, yeah. By Alante. It's, re- it's one of the really good ones. They have like tentacle vine arms, really like good, a big like, flower head. That's, yep. that's how I picture like a... Yep. Like peaceful and nice? No, it's... It's not a peace lily cow. No. It's not. It's more like a Venus flytrap. Yeah. Let me see more. Yeah, more like that. I haven't seen that. You haven't seen Little Shop of Horrors? Nope. I like that one. It's a good one. You have anything else? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, the, the dad is maybe probably alive? Well, the oh, way yeah. he, Kintaro's he's putting it is that the shavings were there because he fixed the radio, mm-hmm. and then he used that radio to call Leaf. for help and get out. So he's yeah. gone. He's so, out of there. The theory is that he is certainly alive. Yeah. Yeah, he is somewhere else. Someone came and picked him up. I'm assuming Tim... Like, I have nothing else to say. You think? Well, well, some Monarch people, because they use the radio and who they get a hold of. Monarch. I well, guess, that's right? who the, the... No, I think they got the a hold desperate of. Desperate. Do you think Kintaro it was literally just of. like an emergency, an emergency craft, and, and when then, they landed, Tim happened to already be there? Yeah, and, I think Tim was looking around that the, area. For yeah. Because he's and, the one that's like, we have to well, find them. We need to find Shaw. He knows something. So, like, that helicopter yep, guy was like, oh, shit! Not like... Oh man, there's another one. Better get out of here. <laughs> Maybe yeah. they were also probably going to investigate the vent, the pulsar. The, yeah, the event. Well, it's not or a the pulsar. Vent, the energy that's like yeah, a pulsar. Are you saying like vent, like event, or vent, like air vent? The vent. That didn't. 
<laughs> the vent. No the, one the says energy vent. vent means event. Yeah. Who says that? Uh, fucking people that like don't want to say e. <laughs> Those fucking people call me Rick. <laughs> uh, but I was when the last thing when he like opened his hand, yeah. I had another like hair. Like, what if? He doesn't have shavings, and it's just snow, and he imagined oh, it. Oh, yeah. And it was just, shit. and he just, like, enough of his dad, like, came through in a, like, hallucination, hallucination to help him. So his dad did die, and his ghost helped Could him you, through the snow. That'd be some shit if he was like, look, I found these shavings, and it's just, like, water. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, <laughs> just snow Sometimes melted. I have, you know, the, I've seen it in other stuff. Yeah. Where, like, hallucinations. Hallucination. I cannot say the goddamn word today. Oh, hallucinations. hallucinations. That, yeah. That's not it. Hallucinations. Hallucinations Hallucina- have helped people survive in situations in films well, yeah. and films and movies and stuff. It's Hall- it's their brain make playing tricks to like make their let them follow their instinct. Yeah. But I don't know how you fix a radio on instinct. Well, yeah, sure. No, it was already working when he walked up. Yeah. It was it was his dad's instinct to and hallucination to help him fix it. <laughs> yeah, he probably had the same thing happen. I was like, oh, my son's computer's broken. <laughs> I gotta fix it for him. All right, well, the team is with Tim. Yeah. And we'll see what happens to them. Tim, team. Tim. Tam. Hallucinogen. <laughs> see, it's hard. <laughs> what do you look at, Aaron? <laughs> you broke it. No! Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Monarch Legacy of Monsters. We're super excited to learn more about where the story is going to go. If you want to check out BlindWave.com and BlindWave Beyond, you can check out the next four reactions available right now. I wish we were screen captured. <laughs>